Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Monster Hunter World. Today we are going to fight Kushala Dora, I believe. I did not realize that I still hadn't actually spoken to someone. Oops. <laughs> I never actually spoke to the field team leader about uh, Kushala Dora. Hi, Mr. Greatsword. All right. The scholars from the ecological research team have t uh, told us that where we'll find Kushaladora. It's in the elder's recess. It must have left uh, the ancient forest and returned it to its roost. Which is good news, actually, since you d we don't want that thing anywhere near base. All of the details are in a quest I've put together. Be careful. The rest of the field team are... On their way there. Join us as soon as you can. Whoa, partner! That was a Kushala Daora. Didn't expect to see one in the new world, too. You know, the stupid part about this is... Um, they act like something that can essentially controls wind wouldn't be able to fly across the ocean pretty easily, considering something swims across it frequently. Like, considering something, like, rather frequently swims across the ocean. Like, actually swims the distance. You'd think they'd be a bit less surprised at the fact that something might fly the distance, or have flown the distance in the past and left eggs eh, here to hatch. Oh, fun fact! Fun fact! I did see a mod to change the Gala suit to black. I would have actually installed it already. <laughs> if um. Good luck, field team. Okay, got it. Let's start investigating. Who are you? But. Uh, I was- I would have installed it if I wasn't having a bunch of technical issues, uh, uh, the past two days. Uh, uh, to put it in perspective, this episode almost didn't happen because I was having issues with my mic. That was quick! Um... Why is stepping on a crystal something of note? Considering this place is made of crystal. Now it's a bit more of note, because now you're not stepping on it, they're getting flung at me. Ow! Okay. Big whirlwind. Shaladora. Use everything at your disposal. The way it works here in the new world. There they go again. Always gotta be first. They all saw it coming. Watch that wind. Wait, do we have a reputation as, like, have to be first on the field or something? All I've been doing is what you guys tell me. Get down here, you... <laughs> Finally! This is why this fight's gonna suck. Eh, we got wind pressure. Eh, this, this stupid creature barely ever comes down from the sky. Ouch. And it... And it hits like a truck. Makes me wish I'd brought my bow. See, wind pressure. This is not going to plan. But I don't think there was a plan. In all honesty, I don't think I had a plan. 
I hate wind pressure. I hate tornadoes. I wonder if I break it, uh, if I break his wings or her wings. I don't, I don't know the lore about this one. If I break the wings of this of this creature, would uh, they stop being able to uh, place tornadoes? Yes! Finally! Dang it! I expected it, but I was hoping. I had to hope. Okay. Seems like that's just not gonna work against this creature. I will be, if I'm completely honest, it was accidental that I fell down here. Every time. You, sir, are rude. And I'm not a fan of wind. I can understand Kashala coming back here, because wind is much more potent if you have something that you can pick up with it and fling along. Like, being able to pick the uh, the, uh, the loose crystals up uh, along here and use them is probably much better. Of course, wind pressure. This is not going well. I hate wind pressure. Like, it, the thing is, this, it's honestly like he just has massive lungs. If, it's not like he's actually controlling the wind. Like, with Val, it was like he was actually controlling the effluvium. But with Kashala here, it's not like he's controlling it more. Like, the only time it seems like he's controlling it is with the tornadoes. Otherwise, it just seems like he has large long lungs and that he's beating his wings rather hard. I expected that. Finally, one goes through. I want to blast your wings off, you bastard. I don't think it'll happen, but I want to do it. Okay. Thank you for your time, good sir. Thank you, and goodbye. Please leave. I'm playing it more, uh, Ed, right now, since I can't get close to him very frequently, and when I do, I can't do a ton of damage, I'm playing more similar to the way I would with the, uh, the greatsword against anything else. Like, I, I, I don't, I wouldn't, I personally, um, I've seen people use the greatsword against Kashala. I wouldn't do it. I would, I would quit or switch weapons, something. I would do something. Simply because I couldn't put up with it. I I have fun occasionally with a greatsword. Occasionally. Like the whole um, rather large hit thing. I, I find it enjoyable on occasion. There they are. Except for I don't know which one. Uh, I think this one. I was right, but I... Did it wrong. Okay. Okay, the uh, wind is still rude. 
Wind is still rude. I still don't enjoy win uh, wind pressure. I don't think I ever am going to enjoy wind pressure. Give me this. This doubtful to work, but we'll try it anyways. If you get in, fall back and wait for the next chance. Stupidity is not something I tolerate. If there's anything that you do tolerate, you got it. Now clear. Um, that was a complete screw up on my part. Yeah, uh, but stupidity isn't something he tolerates, but. I, I have no idea what uh, what the relationships of these people is like I'm just the, I'm just the dude well I'm just the the chick who shows up and I uh, get and I get stuff done unlike you all who for some reason I don't ever see you do anything other than fire at uh, Zora Magdaros. ouch uh, but let's if we're absolutely honest this really could be going much worse. That attack is painful. I think I might die here. Come on, just let me get some wax in on him. Never mind, I guess. I still don't know if the scout flies turn blue uh, when they're leading to an elder dragon or anything. Cause, like, there is supposed to be some sort of color indication of the threat level that they're leading to. But I don't know it. Like, even if the game ever told me what the threat level indication is, like, color-wise, I wouldn't have paid attention because it doesn't matter to me. <laughs> okay. I love getting knocked off my feet and then, uh getting jumped on. And just barely making it out of a situation. Okay, not much damage, but it uh, it was mainly because I think we kept hitting things that we shouldn't. Um, kick the nitro toad. And this is why I brought flash pods because Okay, there goes his tail, which is perfectly fine. I am fine with just cutting the tail. Okay, this actually has gone much better than anticipated. We got a tail out of it. Um, I don't think we got a tail out of, uh, what's a dude? Um... Yeah, I don't think we cut off uh, Teostra's tail, which is completely fair. I wasn't exactly aiming for it, but... I wasn't aiming for it this time either, but I still managed it, so... It'll be very beneficial if, uh, if he's going to sleep right now, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know. There's nowhere really great to do this, but okay. This is the issue with PC. I can't swap like that. I should have just whacked the uh, the barrels. Would have been better.
There. Okay, now get down here, because I'm not fighting you up there. Okay, let's attempt this again. Hopefully it goes... sort of well. <laughs> Better than it did that time, really. Yeah, honestly, if it's just... if it's better than getting trapped in a... in a tornado, and then dying, like going from full health to no health, Without being able to do anything, I'd be- f I'm fine. Okay, let's just be smart about this. Damn it! Nothing. Again, damn it. <laughs> yes, a mount. That that's fine. That's fine with me. I am perfectly fine with a mount. That I will take a mount over not being able to do a damn thing any day. Impressive. Died to him out! Perfect! Why is it they all they always die at, at a time I don't expect? That was as I expected, very horrible. I hated that. No, it, it could have been worse. I could have had what happened up uh, up here happen multiple times, get stuck in between whirlwinds and such. Without any tornadoes or anything up here, the area looks so much different. What are you? You look odd. It looked so much different, like, I, eh, without all the tornadoes around. I could actually see where I was going. Only took 25 minutes. Only 25. Great work, partner. Good job out there, partner. Uh, I knew you'd pull through. We made amazing progress researching the Elder Dragons, and uh, Astera's buzzing with excitement. And everyone is saying it's all thanks to your hard work. But, Pard, having said that... Um. You see, guess who's back with a vengeance? <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm back with a vengeance and right on time. My time, anyway. So I hear ye, you get to take credit for all of the Elder Dragons. Not bad, not bad. I always knew you'd uh, wreck shop. That's why the commander and I handpicked you in the first place. But I've got a little uh, news to share myself. Remember how I said my old friend told me that he was going to track down a certain place brimming with energy? Well, he found it. He found it big time. So I was thinking about checking it out myself. Chances are it'll explain why the Elder Dragons have all started get all started going bonkers. Oh, and my friend had a message for you. I promised our 
paths would cross again, and so they must. I shall not take the, uh, the boat until you get there. All until right. you get here. Hear that? That's a personal invitation, which means you're coming along. No ifs, ands, or... Congalala butts. I'll let you... Your hand will figure out uh, the rendezvous and... Rendezvous uh, to get... Uh, to make it. Got to make it an official quest and all. Now, don't go spilling the beans to the others. This is just between okay, us. All you have to do is sign up for the quest and show up. Don't be late. Uh, okay? Impressive. Fine work taking care of those Elder Dragons. With everything that's uh, transpired, we should send word to the guild immediately. I'll leave the captain. I'll have the captain ready uh, a ship. However, it's still unclear why the Elder Dragons returned to the Elder's Recess. It's almost like they were drawn to it. Well, we'll just have to constitute our research. Hey, we'll just have to continue our research until we find uh, the answer. Either way, I'll start compiling the inform uh, information. Uh, and, all. hmm, something on your mind? The Admiral's been making plans again, has he? Where's that old uh, devil going this time? Wherever he, uh, it is, I suppose. Uh, I suppose now you're going, too. You and your partner, huh? Understood. Well, all right. I'll handle things here. Just remember that whatever happens, your partner will always be there at your side to help you. And we'll be here, yeah, we'll be here too, waiting for you. Find what uh, there is to find, but then promise you'll find your way back home. Hey, partner, are you sure you want to go on that quest from the Admiral? No, I'm not sure, but let's go check out Kishala Dora's armor. Kishala. I'm not a fan of either one. Granted, I, I, I was never a fan of uh, the... Uh, no matter how many of them I've seen, I've never been a huge fan of the old old games uh, style of armor like never made sense to me to have full plate armor rather than uh, something more light like this uh, not as light as this never mind let's say this sort of makes sense mostly cloth with a couple of pieces here and there to protect you with um, that makes more sense than that, in my head. So, eh, if otherwise, I don't really have uh, much to say about this. I don't really like it. That that's all. It's kind of bulky, in my opinion. So, thank you all for watching. I do hope you all enjoyed. If you did and you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Uh, to and turn on notifications by turning by hitting the bell icon beside the subscribe button. And if you've already done that, don't forget to leave a like to show your support for the channel. And everyone who's already done both, there's always the action of leaving a comment down below saying, "What do you think of the armor? What do you think of the uh, the fight? And what do you expect to happen next?" I hope you uh, you all enjoyed. And I hope to see you all next time. Goodbye.